Good morning, YouTube. Wired for Crappie, thanks for watching. We are on the lake today. It is July 4th. Um, it is about 7.30 in the morning. We just got out here, got started. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna pull crankbaits. So, I have a different way of setting up my crankbaits. I do pull my crankbaits from the rear of the boat, um, but I set them up like I'm pushing them, and we'll go through more of that later. Um, I'll show you my rigs and how I pull these crankbaits. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow these channel ledges, and we're gonna see if we can't catch some crappie today on crankbaits. So come on along with us. Hope you enjoy. Nice summertime fish. I love crankbaits. The hooks that get you. Another little guy. I apologize, you can probably hear the jackhammer. July 4th and I'm doing construction, I don't know. It happens. If you can hear that on the video, I apologize. I managed to find a good little school of fish right here. Hung that one pulled drag off the reel. There's one. That's a better fish. Hey.
That's what we're looking for. It's a little better fish right there. On the crankbaits. Better fish, but wrong species. Need help. Wired for largemouth. A mess, folks. So a little strike. Thank you. That was fun. Three rods at one time. We're gonna flip around and go do that again. All right. So I'm gonna show you guys. how I run my crankbaits. And this isn't the best way, guys. This isn't the, the right way. There's not a right way or a wrong way. This is just my way. This is the way I like to do it. Um, so I've got a two ounce inline weight, and then I've got about a three foot leader to my crankbait. And that is an Arky, I believe it's a 250. Um, I prefer the 250s over the 350s. I like the smaller profile bait over the large profile. Sometimes you'll find the fish want the large profile. Sometimes you find they want the smaller profile. I do have both profiles or sizes in my box um, along with many other crankbaits. I run bandits, I run flicker shads, I run shad wraps. Um, you, you know, I, I just find that these Arkies, especially for the money, you can't beat them. That's a uh, 
chartreuse in pink, a little red on the belly, red hooks. The thing I like about the Arkies is they come right out of the pack. They run true. I love the hooks. The hooks are sharp. Um, you really can't go wrong with an Arky crankbait. Um, I think we got fish over here, guys. Hang on just a second. Oh, I think he come off. Yeah, he come off. All right. So, again, that's how I run my rig. You don't have to run it that way. But what that allows me to do is it allows me to fish more. It allows me to fish straight up and down. allows me to run the depth that I want to run, no matter the speed I'm running. And when you're long, when you're long lining crankbaits, it, this is that the opposite of when you're long lining crankbaits. When you're long lining a crankbait, the further you let your line out and the faster you go, the deeper you're going to run. When you're running it this way, the slower you run and the more line you let out, the deeper it's going to run. Now, it allows me to do something else. It allows me to let less line out, and with less line out, I can turn this boat on a dime. So when I turn this boat, if I turn this boat well, 180 right now, the baits are in the water running like this, they're just going to hang vertically. They're going to hang straight up and down vertical. I'm going to be able to flip the boat around, and I'll be able to run right back over the structure, especially if I see a bunch of fish or if I see a, a, a school of fish or something and I catch one or two, I can flip my boat and I can run right back over them. So, you know, like I said, this isn't the best way. It certainly isn't the only way, but it's the way I like to run them, and I hope that helps you out. Try it. It's, uh, it's very simple. See what you think. Let's go catch some more fish. Catch them all. There's one. A better fish. still running about 1415 seems to be the right speed for them today I always start at about 1 2 and work my way up until I start getting bites and then I just sit right there it's, you know if the fish like it at a certain speed I'm not gonna change it uh, if I don't if I make a couple passes and I don't get bit then I'll vary my speed a little bit, maybe up, maybe down. Just depends on how I feel the fish are. I watch my depth finders, and if I see the fish are moving in the water column, I'll generally speed up or slow down to try to get my baits to kind of follow the fish. Oh, oh, stay on there. Come here. Well, they're right liking that red and chartreuse now. Nice fish. Nice summer crappie on crankbait.
Another one. Another one. better fish. That's what we're looking for. There's a good fish. I need a net man. I get nervous swinging them in the boat like that. There's a good fish. Nice summer crappie on a crankbait. Guys, I want to thank y'all for watching today. I want to thank y'all for following the channel, subscribing. If you hadn't subscribed, subscribe down there in the corner. Click the subscribe button. Again, it's July 4th. Happy 4th of July, guys. Thanks for watching. Watch our video or keep a lookout for our video coming next week. God bless.